Welcome back, and now I am going to introduce you to two spirited men, and I can't wait for you to meet them. Ryan Maloney. How you doing? How are you? Good to see you, And Christine. Randall Bird. Good to be here. Great, now you've been here before, and your episode was so popular that I said, I've gotta have you back, and so here now I have the duo right here, yes. right? Well, I think you just like the fact that we had something to drink during my segment. I think no, that's really what brought it, it back. No, this is an informative <laughs> show, and I learn along with my viewers, and this is what we're doing, and if there's some tastings, no problem. So Okay, yeah. good. But I remember one day driving around, and I listened to WCRN a lot, because I, I love Hank Stoltz and all, yep, and I used to have a radio great. program on it, and I heard this fantastic radio show, It's the Liquor Talking. And so then I find out it's you two. It yes. is us. We're guilty. Guilty as charged. <laughs> uh, Tell us a little bit about it. Sure. It's, uh, it's basically, uh, we try to be informative and uh, totally irreverent. And it's all about uh, uh, drinks. It's all drink based, it's all adult beverages, and we have a good time with it. And we do different segments. Randall uh, here is our, our, our resident uh, spirits medium. Yes. Wow. So we have something in common with your new show. Yep. Right. And why do you call yourself a spirits medium? Yeah. Well, because I, uh, I channel a lot of the whiskeys and spirits through me, and I try to interpret what they're trying to tell me. <laughs> now, so, and I can communicate that with other people. So That is great. So it's not similar to how my co-host, Catherine Glass, does it when she channels the spirits through her. Yours are different. I'm physically just drinking a lot of whiskey. <laughs> That's basically what I'm doing. So. I'm glad we corrected that. And then I talk that. about it. So. That is great. That's great. That's a great tasting. So, And then the show is on. Uh, it's on uh, 10 uh, to 12 on Saturdays on WCRN, AM 830. Uh, you can go to their website and actually stream it live. Yep. And uh, later on on, uh, on uh, uh, www.juliosliquors.com, you can actually find our podcast that we do too. So, uh, it, so that it's, everybody uh, it's all. cannot miss it. And it's you can't miss it. And you know, it's so mm -hmm. informative. I know the time when I heard it that got me hooked to your program was you were talking about different vodkas. I have so many questions about vodkas. So it was so helpful because you said, what's five distillings, what's seven distillings. So it's great. And that's what I love about this. And today we're going to learn a lot more. Yeah. Yeah. We actually, um, we do a couple different fun things. Randall does, uh, obviously, he always does the booze in the news. <laughs> and uh, anything with distilling, Randall's our, our resident expert. Um, but we also do another segment called uh, Yay or Nay. Right. So uh, what we do is we pull products off the shelf mm -hmm. and we try them. We do the heavy lifting so you don't have to. That's it's great. A, it's a tough job. Uh, and we try different new products and then tell you whether you should go out and buy them or not. So uh, we have uh, one of those today if you want to try it. We figured uh, we, we when will. you're ready. We when you're will ready, we'll, because we'll you know that. what happens when we start this and I we're understand. into the tastings right. because I want our viewers sure. to learn a lot more about you, like your expertise. And so owning a liquor store is owning a liquor store, but I've never met a proprietor like you who has a liquor store like you do. So let's describe your liquor store. When people walk in, sure. what happens? Well, um, we hope that they have, uh, we've been described as the Disney World for uh, adults. <laughs> um, but w when you walk into the store, it's really, we have hot sauce, we have like 350 hot sauces, we have Stonewall Kitchens, uh, we have our own secret uh, whiskey room, we have wine tasting machines. Uh, it's wait, a total wait, let's experience. start with the wine tasting machine. Sure. Why ta what are wine tasting machines? Uh, we have a, a machine called an endomatic, and what it basically does is it uses argon gas, and we use smart cards, and you can try and sample. Uh, we have over 40-something wines now on tap all the time. They change out monthly, and you can come by and try them for free. So and now there's some whiskeys on these right. smart oh, cards as well. So uh, Okay, so I'll walk into a liquor store, and then they have a special, and let's, let's say it's Da Vinci or something. And I'm like, oh, I love my Cabernets. I love my South African wine, so let me just take it home and try it. I don't have to do that anymore, right? No, for um, w w we do that on a, a, a limited basis, and we have 3,500 wines. So we can't have all of them on no. that machine, but... We, we do change them out every month, so yes, you would be able to, uh, and it also helps us also to, to have you try certain wines, and then we can also tell really what you like, because a lot of times people have, just have trouble describing right. what they actually like about the wine they like. So. Now, Randall, your background, I mean, you're just a spirit medium. Is, I mean, right. you've done a lot more than just being a spirit medium. Yes, so um, what I'll, makes you the expert? Well, I've done distillation, I've built stills, I've worked for pretty much every major brown spirits company uh, in the world and um, I enjoy getting people to taste different things and so that's why it's so fascinating to work with the store and with these tasting cards instead of somebody putting forth their agenda or telling you what you're going to taste yeah. you get to experience it firsthand and I think that that's 
really the most powerful way to sample anything from vodkas to whiskeys to wines okay. is that you get to make a decision about it instead of somebody who's trying to sell you something, for instance, telling you right. this is going to go great with this or that. You can really take and it And the apart. other thing I like, furthermore, is you help educate us. And yes. that's, I believe, why my TV show has been successful is because m many of my guests who come on help teach me things that I didn't know. And then my audience learns. And so it's great to learn yeah. these little things. And sometimes we're afraid to ask, like, really, what's the difference between Cabernet and Pinot Noir? And, you know, we all act like we're experts of right of everything right. so we like that you are the doctors of <laughs> spirit sure, we, yeah we try to do that on the, we try to do that on even on our radio show is uh, it, it's it's really there to help people inform people so that they understand why certain things are the way they are and uh, and, and through education you only do so much on the radio because it's the you know theater of the mind right um, but we we actually do the show live inside the store every Saturday. So it's very interesting. We get a lot of people come down and we'll do things like tastings during the show so people can uh, sort of taste what we're trying or, oh, or, or a lot I, of fun stuff. Oh, I've heard it. I love stuff. it. Always. Yeah. I try to listen to it almost every Saturday. And it's good <laughs> yeah. when you're driving around, you're listening sure. to this really cool show, 10 to 12. Now, let's start with the tasting. Sure. So sure. let's, this is what you would do on your t radio show as well as in your store as right. well. Right. Well, what we get, well, the first one we're going to do is, uh, this is Sky Infusion now. A lot of people come up with these new products, and this is what we, we did the yay or nay. We'll pick, we'll pick something off the shelf and open it up and try it. So, um, now, have you already done this yay or nay on the radio? Um, this particular one? Or is it yes, virgin yay or nay? <laughs> no, it's not a virgin one, but I think that you know, we wanted to give you something to, to try. We didn't, really, uh, we didn't really stack the deck too much. So the, this is their brand new flavor. out. We've done Sky Infusions before. Um, but this is the Moscato grape that I think you should try. So. And, and we're I'm constantly just... polling people, balloting to find out if that ever changes. So oh, that's so you're polling. Yes. yes, you're polling me yes. right now. Okay, yes. and so this is Sky Infusion with Moscato grape. Correct. So, so it's sort of like a Moscato grape wine vodka. Exactly. Yes. Cool. So and we thought that might be right up your alley. So we thought that one might be a good one for you to try. So okay, so, so let's do it. now. Here you go. Now, I know how to drink vodka, but I, you taught me how to drink whiskey. Whiskey last time we were on. This one we don't need to do. There's nothing that we need to do except uh, taste this. This is also, you know, uh, depending on the flavors that come through, we can also make, make nice mixed drinks with it. But you should always start with something uh, good quality uh, to start your drink off because you cannot make good drinks with bad product. I agree with you. And so. And so and and when you taste vodka, do you want it cold or do you want it room temperature? We taste everything pretty much at room temperature when we're doing tastings. Now, this might not be the way we drink it, but um, doing it at room temperature basically gives you, if there's any flaws or there's anything that's a hidden flavor or something like that will show up a so little Randall. bit better. And also, if you chill products down, you're numbing your sense of taste. Oh, so. that's a good point. That yeah. I didn't know that. I so. love learning new things. Yeah. Now, Randall, he did the toast last time, so please give us a toast. Well, I, I'm a very big uh, Scottish whiskey. Uh, that's my favorite. So the toast that I'll propose is Slangeba, which is to your health in Scottish. Wonderful. Gaelic, yeah. So Slangeba. Slangeba. Yasu yeah. in Greek. Yes. <laughs> So. Now, do we switch it in our mouth? Like yeah, I just get the flavor and coat your tongue on you this. You know, it's very good. Isn't it? You know what? I'm going to so do what a little gonna, bit yay more. Or nay? Wait, one more time, just in case. I've yeah, you got to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> that was just an excuse for her to drink, have Ooh. another sip, by the way. I like it very much. It's smooth and Yeah, it's very and different, mild. and it's got some great Moscato flavors That's to great. it. That's great. So, it, to me, it's a yay. Great. Yay. Okay. Well, that's good. Right, we're going to give it yays too. So we, we, yes, we have already given it yays, and I Excellent. think that one of the things that we look for is some flavor that really brings something to the vodka. There's right. so many artificial things out there, and we thought that this was a very real tasting product that you great. can do a lot with. That's great. Okay, so now why, while you're pouring, why don't you tell this us? This is this is a product that Randall and I have been working on. Um, that we do. We do a lot of selections with the Lock and Key Society, which is our whiskey society, mm -hmm. but we do a lot of other things too. This is Kelt. This is uh, Captain's Barrel, mm -hmm. and it's a cognac. And uh, uh, Randall, why don't you tell them a little bit about sure. what, what makes this cognac a little different? Than okay, everything. so typically a cognac is, uh, has a lot of regulations and rules on it. Uh, it has to come from a specific region, specific kind of barreling, and also using uh, very specific grapes in order to make a brandy. And then, very much like a whiskey, it goes into the barrel clear, 
and then picks up a lot of its flavor and color from the wood. So that's similar to most whiskeys. This particular cognac, when it went into the barrel, is first of all a single barrel. Most of them are batches of mixtures or a bunch of barrels. Mm -hmm. And the second thing is, is that the barrel itself went onto a ship and then traveled around the world to do its maturation or aging wow. in the barrel. So I'm, I'm kind of a little bit bitter that this, this barrel has traveled more places than I have around the world. Wow. But um, it's it has a made like some great taste. The Sisters yeah. of the Pants, where the yeah, teenagers. Yeah, going around. <laughs> yeah. Well, this has been a, All right, let's so try it first. Again, then we'll two, two life, two life. Yasu and Yasu, Slandra. No, I, I love this one. I'm, I'm going to be biased on this one anyway, so. Well, I'm going to pretend I didn't hear you because I'm really supposed to be unbiased, right? Um, yeah, right. sure. <laughs> well, and this, the, we're going to see a big difference between these two particular bottles. One, you can add flavor, and they do an infusion. The second one can only get its flavor from the natural process, from the wood, from the, from the original brandy that it was put into the barrel. I say yay. Yeah. It's Thank great. You. And I'm not really a whiskey scotch well, drinker. Well, this but is I a cognac, so oh, we're even better. Yeah. I'm not so. even a cognac drinker, so, but now I would have a little cognac with this kind. So great. All right, well, let's well, thank you. Uh, toast awesome. one more time. Okay. Thank you Absolutely. so much. Thank it's you. the Liquor Talking every Saturday, 10 to 12. And Julio's Liquors, they can come and yep. see you in person. Absolutely. And you on Saturdays. Yes. Great. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you.